Greetings ladies and gentlemen. At the end of season 3, we saw Geoforce go rogue as he snapped from his sister being a spy and his uncle constantly trying to kill him. Just normal royal family stuff. This show continues to get more mature and darker as time goes on so I thought it was a great time to predict the next hero that will break under the pressure. Now, let's get started. Superman has often been the pinnacle of justice being a symbol for humanity but he isn't immune to going evil. One popular story you guys might know is the classic Injustice series that explored an alternative timeline where he lost Lois and becomes a super powered dictator, killing any hero that disagrees with him. But since he had such a following, he was able to convince most heroes to join him either way. Although this theory is a possibility with time travel being involved for the upcoming season, a theory that I think is equally possible is Superman changing after living for centuries. Trees. Due to the yellow sun, he either ages dramatically slower or not at all depending on the writer. So what if after seeing all the people close to him die, he started becoming more isolated and corrupted, forcing the future heroes to get capable people from the past to stop him because Superman's a little OP. I know this theory's a little out there, but it doesn't stop how cool the possibility is. A hero who's been begging to make an appearance is Raven. She's a hero who's always been on the border to joining the dark side due to a loving relationship of her demonic father, but the writers could do a spin on the classic origin story and reveal her to already be under the influence of Trigon. Imagine that she failed to escape and is now used as a soldier for his army or a spy to examine Earth before his conquest. Honestly, her father as a villain could be used as an entire season worth of content with the outsiders on the forefront slowly breaking the hold of Raven's father. But the writers will likely not introduce Raven until we see Starfire join the game. Miss Martian. Now this may be a surprise to you guys, but hear me out. We have seen this hero continuously have a problem finding the line in achieving results, leading to her breaking the minds of people, lying to her team, and even arranging fake crime events. With her track record, I wouldn't be surprised to see her do something again that crosses the line, but this time she isn't as easily forgiven. She most recently made a fake afterlife for Artemis, which we can all agree on is a little messed up. If the rest of the team found this out, who knows what the response is going to be. Also, it seems that she relies too much on the people around her as an anchor for her emotions. When Artemis faked her death, she wasn't afraid to destroy Aqualad's mind, and when Superboy tried to break up with her, she attempted to change his memories. Makes me worried about Connor if he ever wants a divorce. Now, no conversation is going to be complete unless we talk about our boy, Wally West. Now, wouldn't it be crazy if his eventual return revealed him to be part of the dark side, and there's a few ways this could happen. Number 1. The Speed Force has been one of the most common theories for Wally's disappearance, but you may not know that it actually has the ability to change people's personality and corrupt them. The latest example of this is in the Flash TV show where they reveal the presence of the negative speed force. It influences people so much that Nora decided to fade out of existence instead of using it to survive. Maybe the reason he hasn't returned yet is because he's causing mayhem somewhere else. Or he's trapped himself in the speed force with the last bit of his willpower because he realizes he's not the same person. The other reason why Wally West would appear as a villain is technically not him but the reverse Flash could take advantage of his disappearance to pretend to be him, using it as an opportunity to corrupt his name and sabotage the other heroes. Speaking of time travel, we expect the Legion of Heroes to be on the side of the Justice League but it might not be that straightforward. With Impulse having influenced the timeline, they may have decided that he's a threat that could continue to mess with the present and needs to be eliminated. I think it's safe to say that changing the past is against some type of intergalactic laws. Imagine past and future heroes fighting as one side tries to ensure the safety of their timeline while the other tries to protect their people. Both sides are doing something heroic which makes it difficult to choose who to root for. However, if the multiverse exists, then I doubt that any changes to a timeline would affect their future. Now I gotta save the best for last, I feel like the use of the Red Lanterns is definitely not used enough in the animated mediums. If you don't know, the Red Lanterns are a lantern corpse influenced by rage and there has definitely been a lot of angry characters in this show. I'm not going to list every potential character because that would be a long list, but it would be exciting to see a hero get pushed to the brink of anger and get chosen. The first that comes to mind is Artemis since she has been going through her fair share of problems and there's likely more to come. Thank you guys for watching and if you liked the video make sure to subscribe. And if you guys have any thoughts on the video make sure to put them down below because I'd love to have a convo with you guys and I'll see you next time.